Hi, in this lesson, we're going to look at expressions and assignment statements. As briefly mentioned at the end of lesson 1.2, each data type has a set of base operations that defines how these data types can be used. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the different arithmetic expressions and statements that can be used in our programs on int and double variable types. Just like in regular mathematics, Java relies on many of the same operators to perform mathematical expressions. Here are some examples of variables being used in tandem with mathematical operators. In each case, the outcome is the expected result as with normal mathematical expressions. You may have noticed that there is another operator that is commonly used in programming that you might not be familiar with. Modulus is used to find the remainder of a given division between two values. When we divide 17 by 5, the result is 3, remainder 2. Modulus is only concerned with the remaining value and thus will provide the answer 2. Let's try to do some modulus practice. See if you can figure out the answer to these two problems. We can see here that the answer to number 1 is 3 and the answer to number 2 is 0. Operators in Java also rely on the order of operations. The acronym PEMDAS is often used as a reminder for the order of operations, and programs follow the same rules. Parentheses come first when evaluating expressions, then exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. Variables can actually be written as a complex expression and will store the number that results from the evaluated expression. Before moving forward with these slides, try to figure out the value mystery num will output to the print statement. We start by multiplying the values in the innermost parentheses, then by multiplying the parentheses by 6, then adding the leftmost value, and finally by subtracting the final value. When mystery num is printed, it will only express the final value of the expression not the entire mathematical process that it took to get there. This final value that is being initialized in the variable mystery num is called a literal value. A literal value is a value that is written exactly as it is meant to be interpreted and is represented by a primitive data type. While the value of mystery num can be changed and may eventually refer to another value, the value 38 cannot be changed as it is a fixed number. While the process of order of operations is the same for both integer and double data types, there is a very important distinction between the two. When dividing by an integer, the resulting value is not what you might expect. This is because integer values cannot have decimal points. Since that is the case, the result must be an integer. Ints round down to preserve the existing ones place value, regardless of the decimal point value. While ints truncate the values of divided numbers, doubles do not. The value of a double division is what we would expect of a normal mathematical division that involves decimal places. A double divided by a double will remain a double and is capable of storing decimal values. In the case where a double is divided by an int or an int is divided by a double, the result will always be displayed as a double value. Note that in this example, the double that has been initialized has been written as 10 without the decimal point. If we were to print the value of x from this example, the output would be 10.0. Because the value was initialized as a double, even if we do not include the decimal place, Java knows to include it in the calculations. If you use integers, dividing by 0 will cause your program to throw an arithmetic exception. Exceptions are unwanted or unexpected events which occur during the execution of a program. In this case, dividing by zero causes the variable to store the value of undefined, which cannot be used in arithmetic expression. The program throws the arithmetic exception to warn programmers that there is an issue that needs to be resolved. If you use a double, you will actually get infinity instead of an error. Now that we've learned a little bit about mathematical expressions, let's get some practice using them in the code editor. 